Today we install a fold-out table on the tailgate of my Ford Bronco. Let's talk about that. Let's get cracking. Country of origin on this fold-out table is Mexico. I'll scan the directions and very briefly show them up on the screen. You can pause this video if you need to read them, but we're going to quickly briefly go through that. The directions are not all that good, and we'll talk about the difficulty level at the end of this. Step one, you got to remove this trim panel. And I should note here that you can see that Ford has it uh, stamped all over the truck for accessories that are available for the Bronco, that it's accessory ready with cross marks to drill and put other items on your Bronco. In this case, we're just removing the trim panel. I ordered a set of uh, trim panel pry bars that are nylon and won't scar the finish of your vehicle when you're removing door panels and things of that nature. They're very cheap. I want to say I paid like $6 for them. Here you can see what I'm talking about, how Ford uh, pre-prints and makes it super easy for installing uh, factory accessories. Now when you remove this, you have hooks on the top, hook up underneath, so when you pop it off, pop it off from the bottom, pry it up from the bottom, then pull it up and out, and you're good to go. Step two, we're gonna install these rubber bumpers uh, that clip onto the metal flanges on this tailgate. Step three, we're gonna temporarily install the top bracket and that just slides in. You have uh, tabs that go in just like the old one, plastic one came out of the, the truck. And we just temporarily put it in there. It's kind of spring loaded, so don't worry about that at this time. On this next step, the subframe is loosely put together already. And what we're gonna do is loosely assemble it on here. And I'll show you why in just a moment. Now the reason why we did this was to use it as a pattern and you're going to have to drill four holes into your tailgate. And what we're going to do is put uh, painter's tape behind each one of these holes and then mark it with a sharpie. This is going to save you a lot of grief. Get a center punch and everywhere you mark to drill a hole that's going to save your drill bit from walking around and scarring up your truck or whatever your drilling surface is. You should do this for wood, metal, anyone, when you're drilling on any type of uh, surface that uh, could be damaged. The kit came with a 7 16th inch drill bit and what I did was measure down one half an inch and I used some painter's tape for a depth gauge so that you don't drill any deeper than a half an inch. Vacuum up all the uh, shards that you left behind when you were drilling. This step isn't necessary, but it was something I highly recommend. I use this product called ACF 50. This is an aeronautical product that they use to prevent corrosion. And it, it's amazing stuff. It's terribly expensive. I want to say I paid like $24 for this can. Just shake it up and then uh, squirt some in your cap. Use a Q-tip and just swipe it around each of those raw edges that have exposed metal where you drilled. It'll prevent uh, corrosion later on down the road. Next, we're gonna install these, what I call molly, something you would see similar to hanging a picture on a wall of your drywall there, crush and collapse to uh, stay inside the uh, hole. We're gonna use this tool how, how to keep uh, it uh, from spinning around and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, with the uh, kind of bumps facing forward towards the uh, molly. Step nine. Let's slip in our base plate. Your subframe, you have two tabs that go in the bottom. And those slots right there. All right, we've got it temporarily set up there and what we're gonna do is slip a rubber washer behind here, put a lock nut on the actual screw and then anchor it down at the two lower points. 
Okay, we're gonna keep this loose for the time being so we can fish it around. And what we're gonna do is anchor it in the three holes up here. Okay, the last step is to anchor it with the ni nylon bolt, lock bolt. Okay, step 10, we're gonna install two nylon washers on the post that the whole table pivots on, like so. Now we're gonna take the table and slide it onto those posts. That's why this one was left unbolted so that you can bow it out to install it. This is where I wish I had an extra set of hands, like so. And you have two leashes here, and we're gonna hook those leashes onto these posts right here. Now this next step is we're going to have to put a nylon washer in between here and a rubber gasket here in the back and get that cinched down without the whole thing coming apart. Okay, after several tries I got it started. Now we'll get this nylon bushing behind that and then get her anchored down. So there you have it, a quick down and dirty install. If you notice on the back, this webbing is, uh, or hole system is for a moly system where you can install your moly bags. And that's kind of a military type bag. But I keep my first aid kit and some bare essentials, a hatchet, uh, a knife, etc. Things that I may need when I'm out on the trail or out hunting or something of that nature. I also keep batteries and a flashlight inside this one right here. You have two latches that release and it folds right down. I should say it's a maximum of 25 pounds, so you can't sit on this shelf, but it is quite slick. So while you're out on the trail, you can set up your uh, coffee and make a cup of coffee on the go, or if you're camping, prepare your supper, prepare your food on this, and it folds up and stows nicely out of the way. It's a nice, good, easy uh, accessory that I, th I think I'll really enjoy on this vehicle. I will say that it has rubber stoppers, it had rubber washers, so there's no rattling against the uh, truck as you're driving down the road. That would be a deal breaker for me. So it's quite firmly planted on there and all rubberized. So two thumbs up for me there. Now on a scale of one to three mullets, one being the easiest and three being the hardest to install, I give this three mullets. If you're not comfortable drilling holes in your, your brand new Bronco, it's a bit of a stressful time. So you better measure three and four times to make sure you know what you're doing. It's real fiddly. You almost need a second set of hands to get the whole conglomeration together so you can cinch it down and hold it on tight. That said, the juice was worth the squeeze. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm Eric, and you're watching Kraken's Garage. Peace.